let's talk a little bit about the blades. Uh, what I have here is some old vintage blades. And of course we have the feathers over here and we have one that's engraved for $925 and of course the feather over here for, for $300. But let's talk about a little about these blades. These are old, some very old type of uh, razors. This one here is the red dot, which is a beauty. And, and you can see the little intricate work that's so involved in it. And it's just a, just a gorgeous piece of work here. And this is what we call uh, the old straight razor in the, in the hollow ground. And so it has this big dip in it. But this is what was used a lot for, for the shaving at home. This is a very, very unique little blade. And, and then we have this purple one. Oh, gosh. Drop that. This little one up here. With a little pearl look and how beautiful is that? You can see the unique workness, and then it has that beautiful blade. Just, just beautiful, beautiful workmanship that they did in those days, and the colors and the beauties of the, of the handles. And let's go into this other blade over here, which is Mom's, Mom sculpting edge here. This. This razor here was designed for razor cutting in when we were doing a lot of razor cutting in the in the uh, 70s and 80s we were doing a lot of razor cuts and so this was this was uh, called mom sculpting it it was really a unique tool where where the feather had had one also and this is one of the, that came out years ago well uh, in for, for razor cutting and it has a blade. Uh, it's very light uh, and they came out with this wonderful blade that we used to use it, to use for texturizing. And But this is a very unique tool. This tool is probably over, I would say over 25 years. Uh, and so they stopped making it but it's a, it's a gorgeous tool. It still works, nothing wrong with it. And then this blade here, this was an old Edmund Rothman tool that was used, like I say, in the 70s. And again, you can see how fine this blade is, and, and it's not real wide for shaving or anything, but it's, it was designed for, uh, for, for just doing uh, sculpting hair. So it, it, this was a very unique little tool also. But this one here, this one here, like again, you can see all the unique work on that, just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, but just some of the old tools that were out there in the old days and the beauty of them and to see how they're still producing and doing the work with them is just imagine, imagine how wonderful that is. Okay.